You can be a scientist without a degree. Yes guys, you have heard me correct. You can be a scientist without a degree. And not only that, you can even contribute to the astronomical and scientific societies with your research. Guys, becoming a scientist is one of the toughest job in this world. You have to study hard, you have to do good schooling, then your graduation in graduations, you have to do bachelors, masters, and with your research work, you will get a PhD in the next three to five years. Overall, it will take eight to 10 years of your study time to become a scientist in ISRO or in NASA or in one of the uh, biggest uh, space agencies, guys. And I really respect scientists for their hard work and for making our life so easy. But today, most of us doesn't have time to study for the next eight to 10 years, or you might be a working professional already or you might not be from the science background but your heart still beats to be a scientist then NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration one of the biggest space agencies of this world is bringing you an opportunity to be a scientist and you can work from home and contribute to these scientific societies with your researches and with your observation every day brings a new opportunity to learn something new and grow up and guys if you are coming onto my channel I will make sure that you gain knowledge and make your day count. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your friend Yash and let's begin. Alright guys, let's hop onto my computer screen. And guys, in this video, I will also be telling you how you can access this website via your mobile phone by this end of the video. So guys, we have to log on to our website, nasa.gov. And you can see a very beautiful main page of NASA's website and guys these are all the drop down menus and these are the tabs guys and we have to look out for the STEAM tab S-T-E-M which means Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Engagement. So I will be clicking on this tab now. So now guys we are redirected to the STEAM Engagement page and here we have to scroll down and look out for a project NASA at home. Let NASA bring universe into your home. So I will be clicking here guys. And in this page we have to search be a scientist and you can see it on the right side. And now I will be clicking on the tab. Okay now on this page we have to scroll down and we have to look for more opportunities to be a scientist. And then I will be clicking here. So guys here you can see citizen science page is open and citizen science projects so guys we will be first learning about the citizen science projects let me zoom in guys and here you can read nasa citizen science projects are the collaboration between scientists and interested members of the public so guys first of all let me clear one thing a citizen science projects is not only for the citizens of america or usa guys it is worldwide if you are a citizen of this earth you can participate in it Let's read further guys. Through these collaborations, volunteers known as citizen scientists have helped make thousands of important scientific discoveries. Guys, this is the point to be noted here. People are already helping the scientists in making scientific discoveries. Want to work on some real NASA science? Then we have to click on the projects below. And guys, remember this human icon projects, projects which are having this human icon can be done by anyone, anywhere and with just a cell phone or a laptop. Alright guys, let me just zoom in and uh, I will just scroll down a little bit. Okay guys, so here you can see all the categories of the projects like universe, solar system. But guys, we will be looking on to all the projects in which you have interest to participate. Okay guys, so you can see the first project, Stardust at the rate home. And guys, to, more, to know more about this project, I will bring the cursor onto the picture. And here you can read, look for the interstellar particles in the aerogel from Stardust spacecraft. This project guys, Nemo Net, Global Observer Clouds, Land Cover Mosquito. Guys, I am not that much interested in these projects, so I will just scroll down. And here you can see Planet Patrol, Disk Detective and Backyard Worlds Planet 9. Guys, this one I am really interested in to search the realm beyond the Neptune for the newborn dwarfs and the planets. Let's move to the next project guys, Catalina Outer Solar System Survey landslide report guys this is very important guys if you are living in an area where landslides generally happen then you can submit the report to the nasa's database guys then we have floating forests 
If you love penguins, then you can create a mapping application for their population. Then guys, we have Sun Grazer project. In this project, we have to look out for the unknown comets in the SOHO and Stereo satellites guys. So first of all, I'll tell you SOHO stands for the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory and Stereo stands for Solar Terrestrial Relation Observatory. And guys, you will get all the data from the NASA's website. Guys, this is a very, very good thing. Guys, you don't have to look out for the data anywhere. All the data are available and that will be given to you by NASA itself. Uh, you have to just put on your efforts to increase your curiosity and observation. Then guys, we have snapshot to Wisconsin. Guys, if you don't know about Wisconsin, Wisconsin is a place in the United States. Now the interest is growing guys, here you can see the planet hunter TESS guys, TESS stands for the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite and guys in this mission we have to search for the undiscovered world using the TESS data from the NASA's website guys, very very interesting. So now guys we have fireballs in the sky and uh, then we have growing beyond earth guys, so growing beyond earth is for the space farmers and you can feed the NASA's astronaut but you have to be a teacher from 6th to 12th grade Juno Cam now guys if you are into the science news I don't think so that you might have not heard about Juno Cam because it is one of the trending science news recently that the Juno Cam which is on board the Juno spacecraft has taken up very very beautiful images of Ganymede which is not only the biggest moon of Jupiter but it is the biggest moon of our solar system but guys, we must have an image processing software in our laptop or computer to access the data. And guys, here comes my favorite, International Astronomical Search Campaign guys. I have already applied for International Astronomical Search Campaign for the search of asteroid, but my bad luck. When I applied for that, the campaigns were already folded. But no worries guys, I will be trying it for the next time and I will be giving you update in our upcoming videos. The next project we have is lake observations by citizen scientists. And guys, trust me, if you have a telescope, then the target asteroid is the best project for you. Next we have in our list is Aurora Saurus. So guys, Aurora, if you have heard about Aurora's, Aurora's are the lights which are generated uh, due to the effect of the coronal mass ejections or the charged particle from the sun. When these charged particle interacts, with the magnetic field of our earth and they come down to our atmosphere where they interact with the atmospheric gases and generate light these lights when seen in the northern hemisphere are known as aurora borealis and when seen in the southern hemisphere are known as aurora australis we don't see auroras from india but if you are in norway sweden or some part of australia and if you have sighted an aurora then you can make a report and give it to nasa so next in our list we have community snow observation and soundscape to landscape and air quality citizen science. To check out the trending projects you can go to the citizen science news. So guys I will tell you my favorite projects as well as the projects which I feel it is beneficial. First of all it is international astronomical search campaign and the second one is planet hunter TESS. So first I will open international astronomical search campaign. Alright guys, here you can see the main page, welcome to international astronomical search collaboration and I will just scroll down guys. Uh, so guys, this is what I was mentioning earlier in, in my video that I have applied for all Indian asteroid search campaign but you can see on the right side guys that it is already full. The campaign will begin on July 1, 2021 and uh, i have applied for it but i already got a mail that campaign is full there is no longer place available you can see the other campaigns as well which are all iran asteroid search campaigns international asteroid search campaign mcti 2021 asteroid search campaign guys so four campaigns are there but we can apply in indian uh, indian asteroid search campaign and guys for the confirmation i'll also show you the participants around the world here you can see all the participants and i'll show you the participants from india guys and here you can see all the participants uh, who had already participated in this astronomical research or the asteroid research campaign previously guys i feel really happy to see their contribution and guys you will be surprised by seeing the number of the teams which is participating in this 
uh, astronomical search or the asteroid search here i will show you guys this is the campaign name this is the indian asteroid search campaign and the number of the teams are 250 guys so many teams from india are participating on july 1 and the next you can see from the iran it is only 50 international asteroid search campaign have 97 and mcti 2021 have 100 team but the most team are from india guys and guys i'm sure that i will be applying one more time for this asteroid search campaign and will contribute to the society and will keep you updated as well so guys my next favorite is planet hunter tess and i will just open it up and guys here is the main page of planet hunter transiting exoplanet survey satellite and guys i will suggest you to first register it and then sign in and uh, guys you can see that there is new data uploaded from the TES satellite guys and uh, which can be useful for planet hunting so guys i am having an eye on it and guys if you are interested in planet hunting this is best for you all right guys you can choose your favorite projects and can start working on it from today guys i have a suggestion that what if indian space research organization isro come up with something like a citizen science program or at least for the citizen of india guys i know that isro is doing the best job guys whatever funds they are getting they are using it to the fullest sending the spacecraft to the mars uh, then the chandrayaan the moon mission and guys uh, even in this pandemic they are helping our country by making the oxygen concentrators guys hats off to isro i am a very very big fan of isro guys but i just have a suggestion that what if isro come up with some this um, uh, citizen science program at least for the citizens of india or to those persons who are innovative but they don't have a degree they are like having the best mind but they don't have a degree to join isro i know guys i know that you are also innovative and you have tons of ideas or at least one idea to help out isro or any other organization but the problem is how to reach them or how to reach isro for that you need a degree so that is one of my suggestion guys that if isro come up with some citizen science program i am sure that isro will get hundreds and thousands of innovative ideas from around the world or at least from india because we all are innovative so guys enough of the suggestions and now i will tell you how you can log on to the nasa citizen science projects website via mobile phone so guys first of all i will open google chrome and you can use any browsers with which you are comfortable guys and then we'll log on to the same website nasa.gov and guys i will also provide you a direct link but this will give you an opportunity to explore nasa's website and now we will scroll down and and we will look out for the tab nasa at home let nasa bring the universe to you we will click here and now here you can see be a scientist guys i will just zoom in and yes here you can see the tab and i'll click here the same page will open here as well guys and now we have to again scroll down and we have to look out for the more opportunities to be a scientist so we have to click on this link So guys here we are again on the same citizen science projects page and when we will scroll down we will again see all the projects which we have also seen in our laptop or pc pages guys and rest of the things are same all right guys i hope you have liked this video and learned something new today and yes guys don't forget to send your name on mars or moon or wherever it is coming all right guys stay safe stay healthy get vaccinated as soon as possible peace out